This might look like just another medical research lab, but Micah Breakstone and his team are using artificial intelligence to fundamentally change how we treat some of the world's worst diseases, like diabetes, muscular dystrophy, or even Parkinson's. In order to fully understand how, we need to look closer. Every life on Earth starts as a single cell. And over time, that cell divides repeatedly to produce many different types of cells with specific functions. Cells that make up our skin, or muscles, or nervous system. What if it were possible to program these cells to grow into exactly the kinds of cells we need to fight disease? Micah Breakstone and his team are leveraging artificial intelligence to find out. And if it works, it could usher in a new era of regenerative healthcare, transforming the lives of millions of people worldwide. Andrew Ng in 2017 said AI is the new electricity. I think even he got it wrong. It's gonna be much bigger than the new electricity. Electricity completely reshaped the 20th century. AI is gonna do much more to the 21st. One thing that this current wave of artificial intelligence is really good at is types of pattern recognition and, and connecting dots in massive amounts of data. Take something like ChatGPT, for example. It's trained on billions of examples of language. Through pattern recognition, it's able to learn what language looks like and how it behaves. This enables it to answer questions, provide summaries, or even translate from one language to another. We're doing something very similar for cells, so we're looking at huge amounts of data. We're learning how cells interact and leveraging those models in order to do many different things, such as introduce novel treatments and cures. Artificial intelligence is a tool that humans can use to magnify their intelligence the same way that the steam engine magnified the muscles that humans used. The potential there is enormous. Using healthy cells to restore the function of damaged ones isn't a new idea, but discovering how to create a cell to treat a specific disease takes scientists decades. Micah and his team have created a digital model of a cell that can be used to run through an infinite number of AI-driven tests, which can then be replicated on actual cells for real-world use. Instead of decades, new discoveries could be made in weeks. So you basically get your sort of genes by cells, right? So similarly to a human-spoken language, Cells actually communicate by what is known as signaling. Think of it as the language of cells and how they decide what they do. Traditionally, professors have spent 10 plus years at their labs playing around with different signals, looking at the cell under a microscope, adding chemical X and seeing, oh, the profile of the cell changed to a little to this direction. They play around with these things for years and years and years. What we do with data and with AI is A, be able to run through many, many of these conditions at once and be into it. What are the optimal signals to give at every moment to produce this end state of the cell that we want to get to? Leveraging AI to learn how the cells in our bodies work could unlock treatments for a number of previously untreatable diseases. In fact, Micah and his team have been using their AI model to create muscle cells that are being used to rebuild damaged leg muscles in mice. Within three months of injecting the healthy cells, 80% of the muscle is restored. The ability to understand the language of cells and control their behavior is taking us one step further into digital biology and what it means to master biology and extend well beyond our current limitations. It can unlock an amazing future. One of the biggest benefits that AI brings is the ability to do much more customized medicine, which means drug discovery that's based on your body and your needs or the, the needs of a small subset of people. These technologies are still very new, but imagine a future where our worst diseases are a thing of the past, or a future where we could quickly treat new diseases that we haven't encountered before. AI is rapidly changing the way we do healthcare, from digital cells that help us research novel treatments to using large language models that help people speak again. There is a congresswoman right now who is using AI. She's lost her voice because of a progressive neurological disease, and she has an AI algorithm that's trained on her past recordings that she can now use to speak in her own voice. As a new member of the differently abled community, I believe it's important not only to celebrate how far we've come, 
but also to recognize how far we still have to go. Artificial intelligence has the potential to hugely revolutionize how we do medicine and how we understand how the human body works. You know, if there's one thing I'm sure of is that I'm gonna do everything in my power to advance AI as much as possible and leverage it for the benefit of humankind.